trash day. Hey guys, I'm, I'm still here. If, if any of you are still wondering, I uh, haven't made a video in a while just because honestly a lot of the stuff that we're doing this time of year is pretty, uh, at least that I'm doing, is pretty boring. Uh, really a lot of office work and uh, planning for uh, next year and just a lot of sitting at a desk and going through stuff, year-end books and, and all that jazz. Well, I know some of you are thinking, why did I even click on this guy's video? I'm wondering the same thing too. So one of the things I, I'll call it investing because it sounds a lot better, but um, I used to have two monitors in the past for the computer setup, but um, the only problem is when you only have one screen, it's hard to do a multitask a lot, especially when you're doing books and stuff because you do a lot of side-by-side -side action. And so uh, on Black Friday, found me this widescreen. I know, right? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No! That's what most of you farmers are thinking. So surprisingly, for the most part, the shop is staying clean from uh, when we cleaned it up for the, uh, what we call harvest. We do our harvest party. That would have been from kind of the last video. That's what I did that year in review video for. Beautiful sunrise out this morning. Wonder what that guy has in mind. We've been uh, going through also and just picking out our initial seed orders. And so what you got to do there is you kind of got to go through and get a rough idea of the seed genetics um, hybrids that you want just so you can kind of go through and what we'll do later in the winter after the first of the year is kind of go through sit down with our agronomist and play some per field but right now we're just we got to get a, a general idea of the hybrids that we're going to use and then we'll kind of fine-tune which fields we're going to put that on later and so that's another thing we've been doing too, is just uh, getting all that stuff organized, kind of getting it ready for, for next year. Um, we have been hauling a little bit of corn. We hauled a, a bag, and my brother, I shouldn't say we, uh, my brother, and uh, they actually uh, hauled a bag and put it into the grain facility because we didn't get that completely full during harvest. And uh, so they, they stored some more of that. They're still tidying up over there um, with uh, the reclaim stuff to bring it back into the leg and from the dryer. This is what they kind of got so far. They put a brace and this is kind of how we're going to fill trucks. They still got to bring an auger or whatever back into here just so we can uh, just rely solely on the leg itself to uh, fill and unload and stuff like that. They just, yeah, I think all they have to do is bring stuff back into the leg and then they should be uh, complete. For now, we haven't even really washed anything off. We blew some stuff off, but we haven't really deep cleaned it yet. And so we just park them in here until we're ready to do that on a... We've probably had a few days we could do it, but uh, we, we just didn't feel like it. Also, another thing we do is we gotta start getting the, these guys ready to go here shortly. One thing we're looking at doing is maybe something different on our fur openers for the system yet. The only thing is we've been starting to price some of this equipment out and it's really expensive. So what we do on that is still up in the air. Um, the problem we had these years uh, with this clean sweep is a lot of these would go bad frequently, those air cylinders. And so I don't know if there's anything wrong with those uh, that we, uh, I mean, we've had problems with them. Some guys get along great with them, but we've had them go out. It's not, that these are inexpensive. I think these are only around a hundred bucks or so. I can't remember what they are, but it's just kind of more of a nuisance doing it. But I'd like to go to the deer system or yetter system with the air bag right here. It's a lot heavier duty. The only problem is the cost of it. You always got to weigh how long you're going to keep the planters versus, you know, the payback of doing that system there too. So that's something we got to think about. Also on these, we're going to have to go through and redo all the true V's. Uh, the true V's are the blades that open your uh, your trench for your seed, so that's a crucial component on it. This is what they are right here. These will have to be replaced this year. We just we typically run them two years and exchange them, even if they're they might be still with intolerance, but they'll be wore by the end of the season. Especially where these are high speed, we're more concerned about the bearings going out than anything. So. Uh, that's another thing. Plus you always gotta go through and check bearings on everything. So 
You always want these to be in tip top shape. So that's something we're planning ahead, trying to get parts ready for all the stuff that we have to do projects for, which we usually start doing in the kind of after the first. This is just chemicals left over for some reason. Might be a white Christmas. I don't know if this will hang around. It's supposed to actually warm up again, so this might be melted off by Christmas. But uh, over there are our strip till machines. We'll go through and replace a lot of the basket bearings and stuff on them. Once again, here's the blade system that we still got a lot of tracks and uh, we still got a lot of gully washers to to fill in. But um, no, we we got this because we do have a a three point tractor blade. The only problem is we got a lot of huge ditches and to try to speed up the process we thought this would be able to pull more dirt in at a time. And so yeah, this is full of concrete here to add weight and I think this, my brother's the only one that run this, but I think this can kind of steer back here so you can kind of use it like a road grader uh, essentially just behind a tractor. The only thing my brother said is you get, get, kind of get tired of looking behind you because it sticks back there a little ways. but. Other than that, he's been doing a pretty decent job filling in the tracks and, and gullies that we've had had trouble with anyway. So one of the things we also do, uh, since there's four of us on this operation, uh, whether we like it or not, and we're family, we still gotta be able to communicate some of the things. And so also being able to sit down with um, people that kinda help us out, whether it be uh, seed dealers, fertilizer, bankers, crop insurance, there's a lot of times we just got to sit down and talk and being able just to have a table where you can sit at and everybody can sit around and discuss. What needs to be done um, is important. Another thing that we've done here in the past, uh, probably a couple of years ago, we got this bigger TV. If you're like me, I'm kind of a visual learner and being able to visually see stuff helps a lot. And I know uh, even my dad and brothers are kind of more that way. One of the things we like to go through is, as you can see up there, is like I pulled up a yield map is being able to pull it up so everybody can kind of see it and uh, see what happened and just kind of being able to show everybody because it's kind of hard to print papers all the time and hand them out but when we can actually see visually they're like oh yeah that didn't work out there's a couple different ways I, I beam it up here for for the nerds involved is um, I have a Google TV or Google cast Google I'm not sure what it's called back there for that works a lot for your PCs you just use Google Chrome on your browser another one that's back there is an Apple TV which is a little more expensive but since I kind of use a Apple TV back here it, it's it actually works better than the Google cast it's just a little more seamless but the only setback with that is I believe you have to use all Apple products unless if you use a workaround kind of a program maybe on a PC I think air parrot might be one for those of you interested that have a PC that want to stream it to an Apple TV all you do here is right now I'm using Google cast and so that's with a Chrome browser being able to beam it to that TV another way is you go up here in the right hand corner and you go to the that says O'Neill TV now you can see it, it's using Apple TV now so you know that's one of the things that we've been doing a lot of lately is just kind of sitting around this area. Um, I know dad and brother have cattle too that they've been working with. And so I've actually been in here most of the time because we got year end books. Um, being self-employed, you know, you kind of got to manage your tax taxes more. I don't know much about taxes, but I know enough that you kind of got to keep stuff on a schedule. Um, just so you're not never going to end up with a huge tax bill or not enough. So that's another thing that um, farmers got to do this time of year is kind of prepare for that year end to uh, see if they need to take more income in or take less. That is what I've been doing. It's not really, really pretty. I know some other farm bloggers around here have been doing a lot cooler stuff, but that's kind of what it is. Hey guys, this wasn't a super long video, but like I said, it's... Unless if you want to sit there and watch me crunch numbers all afternoon long, uh, I could put up a webcam and you can just sit there and just admire me. But uh, I, I think we'd all agree we don't want to see that. So uh, no, guys, I don't know if I'll get another one out before Christmas or not, because like I said, we might not be doing a lot. But if I do, I will. I don't know. I don't put a schedule on this thing because if you don't set goals, you're never disappointed. So, uh, no, thanks, guys. And if I don't see you until then, have a Merry Christmas uh, from O'Neill Family Farms. And just uh, have a Happy New Year, too. But hopefully maybe get one out before then. But 
No promises. Hey, hit like, subscribe. Thank you guys. We'll catch you later. If any of you guys have more questions on uh, that stuff that I do in the shop, uh, as far as like electronically wise, just uh, go to our website, www.oneillfarms.com. You'll scroll down, you'll see a place where you can email me at. And just uh, leave a message there uh, asking any questions, and uh, I'd be sure to, more than happy to try to steer you in the wrong direction.